Okay, so in this last piece, we have to open parameters. So I'm going to go in my folder here. I'm going to open up parameters. It should open up to Inventor. All right. So this one's a little bit tricky. Um, we're going to open up Extrusion 1. We're going to click Sketch 1. Okay. So in Sketch 1, we have to add a dimension for the tab length and assign it's, it a parameter with the name tab length. So let's do that first. So we're going to go up to Manage. Go parameters, and then you're going to add a user parameter. So you're going to add numeric. We're going to call it tab length. Okay. And tab length right here, it says to, um, okay, it says to take the diameter times. Okay, so diameter is in inches, diameter times um, tab width, so we're going to put tab underscore width. Okay, tab width is also in inches. So if you do inches times inches, that's going to give you inch square. So I'm going to hit enter just to show you. Okay. It's going to be a different, it's going to be red. Okay, because there's a conflict in um, units. So it says expected in inches, but found inches square. So what we have to do is hit divide by one, I believe one inch. Okay, and now you should be in um, just inch and the red should go away. So I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna go up to my dimension. I'm gonna dimension this right here, okay. And then I'm going to click the arrow. I'm going to go to list parameters. I want this to be the tab length. Hit accept. Okay, great. Now it says change the tab width value to 0.815. So I'm going to go back up to manage parameters. Change the width, tab width right here to 0.815. And then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, everything is black. It's good to go. If it's red, that means there's some kind of... Um, conflict. All right. And then you should have, it says, what is the length of the tab? And you should have your answer right there.